Hi everyone, I'm going to make something in uh, my art journal in a book and let's see, I I want some blue this today and I've got here, let's see, I've got patella blue and white and black and first of all I want to put some layer of paint on my uh, double spread so I'm going for variations on blue that's why the white and black let's see I'm I've taken a baby wipe it's still wet just so I can move the paint easily on my page and it's very hot here so everything <laughs> dries <laughs> very very quickly so it just helps I'm just laying down paint don't care it's very random And as you can see, I don't care that uh, I've got uh, the text in the back. We just add to the whole thing. And I need more of the blue. So as you can see, I'm just trying to have a, all kinds of tones to my color. And if I don't like something, I'm just going in and adding if it's the white or if it's the blue. And here I'm adding black. just playing around on my page there is no uh, planning to it I'm just trying here to get inside the fold I need more of the white I want areas to be some areas to be lighter than the other areas and I'm not concerned about blending just to have interest in my background let's see I feel like I need a little bit more black here and just a little bit more white in several places and I'm done with the background
the fact that I'm not blending and just adding uh, this uh, kind of strokes gives me motion and more interest to the background. Okay, so here it is, here is my background and now I want uh, some stenciling to add more interest <laughs> and let's move this aside and let's see, I'm going to take some, let's do some circles and I'm taking uh, this kind of wine just because it's heavier and I'm hoping it will uh, be uh, better on this page than this one and so putting down a little bit of white and taking makeup sponge and I'm going to put the white on areas that are darker and I'm planning to use a darker color on the areas that are lighter and that's how I'm going to go and add interest and again this is random So now I want to change a stencil and let's see, these stencils don't have any brand, they are just something I ordered on Aliexpress and so I don't have any information uh, to give you on that. So let's see, now I want a... I'll put down more of the blue and I want to uh, go with this stencil on areas that are lighter. Let's see. I hope I'm in frame and you can see what I'm doing. It doesn't have to be like, okay, I see this and this. It just needs to add to the texture and interest in the background. thinking I want something lighter here so maybe I'll just use the same stencil yeah it works so I've just taken a little bit more of the white and added Yeah, 
this is it that's my background i really like it moving this aside and i want now let's take this out it's in my way i've uh, raided my stashes of pinky papers and all kinds of leftovers and taken out all kinds of um pinky papers and jelly prints uh, with uh, this kind of uh, blues and I want to do some collaging here I'm thinking torn uh, pieces so let's see again there is no uh, planning <laughs> it's just taking out pieces and making something that will uh, pleases uh, your eye it just needs to be something interesting for you something like that and let's see Now you don't have to tear a paper if you don't like it. If you like straight uh, lines, just take uh, scissors and start cutting shapes that you like. You can uh, start uh, just uh, cutting circles. If you like circles, I'm just laying down something here in the I like that's the uh, the best explanation <laughs> that I can give you and I'm thinking I'm going to ink around the edges uh, or maybe no maybe I'll just leave it with the white edges that it's straight here so something like that now it's just playing around until you feel you have something interesting that you can live with <laughs> I'm using my uh, silicone glue that's what I like to work with uh, I was told that a uh, Elaine Techie Glue or Gel Elaine Techie Glue, whatever is the something like that. So, but it can be done with simple white glue. I just want to move faster and I don't want to wait. So, the silicone glue works for me and I get it at the cheap store. Pushing it down here at the fold. Trying to make it a uh, straight. Let's see. I'll just put this down and squish it like this. Yeah, this works. Again, pushing it here in the fold. And yeah. 
so again just glue here I'm going to cut some leaves this page was done with uh, one of my handmade stamps in the shape of a leaf and that's the outcome trying to pick uh, the leaves here that are more prominent and defined and just one more I think Okay. I'm thinking one here. Something like that, yep. As I said, it's not planned. I'm just playing around. My idea was to do a whole page with blue a tones. That's it. don't have much to say while I'm gluing, sorry. Okay, so uh, I want some saying and I'm going to uh, go and find something in my stash and I'll be back I'm back so I've stamped uh, this saying you only live once but if you do it right once is enough so I, uh, I've already stamped it on some uh, scrapbook paper I had lying around and I wanted to go here and of course I've got this crease so I'm already going to uh, fold it here so it will be easier to glue like this it's going here and I want I'm thinking I want a butterfly and I want to make the all these elements that I've glued here a little bit more uh, pronounced so I'm thinking some shadow uh, is uh, required here I'm just going to close it for just to put pressure so it will be glued down but it 
it's not straight yeah I think now it's it's in place so let's see I've got uh, this are a um, well they are like felt pens but they have a brush tip and they are supposed to react with water so I'm going to try and use this and they are from my cheap store and I've already started to make some uh, experiments with it and I'm planning on another uh, video about watercolors and watercolor effect that is not uh, just with watercolors and all this kind of water reactive uh, products that uh, there are so let's see I'm going to take a, a paintbrush and a little bit of water and let's see Eh. not that great at least not here but I do like uh, that I have a little bit of shadow here underneath so I'm going to continue doing it and also the leaves, all the elements that I've glued down, I'm planning on adding like a shadow, just so they will be a little bit more defined. And if this uh, pen won't work, uh, then I'll just find something else. And we'll see what comes out of it. So it's not enough for me. And maybe I need to add a little bit of black. And I still need to go over it with a little bit of water, so we'll see how it will react. So basically this is it, uh, I still need a butterfly, I really like to have a butterfly here, so let's see. I'm going to go now over everything with uh, water. So on the leaf a little bit don't know why just <laughs> wherever I think it need it's needed You can also use the, the uh, Stabilo All Purpose, anything that will react with water and you can smudge also. Yep. Yeah. So, 
now I, I had some butterflies here. Let's see. What a mess. I'm thinking, yeah. So now just eat a bit of glue stick in the back and I hope it will be nice. Again, I've got to struggle here with the fold. Yeah. So this is it. <laughs> that's my that's my page. I really like all this blue and as contrast I took the monarch uh, butterfly so it will pop up on the page. And this is it. So I hope you liked it. I hope you'll have fun doing something uh, similar. And thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.